Welcome everyone to the, to the Tuesday night huddle. Every Tuesday night we have what was called our Tuesday night huddle. This is a big gigantic support group. This is the hope for prisoners' family. How many new people, people new to the huddle? You are now part of the huddle, so please welcome them to the huddle. The goal of Hope for Prisoners is that we want to change the face of reentry. We have our very own Clark County District Attorney coming out to, to share with them, to welcome them home. And keep in mind, this is like the most unlikeliest person to be able to embrace them. My name is John Ponder, and I'm the founder and CEO of Hope for Prisoners. I just thought it was a crock. My name is Corey Crossman, and I am Hope. Truth be told, I was barely human when I walked out. I spent uh, a lot of those years in a cell by myself and I couldn't eat regular food, I couldn't be around people, you couldn't touch me. I got out on uh, January 28th, I think like the first week of February I started the program. They offered job skills and help with job placement and different ways to reintegrate yourself with your family and your loved ones. It doesn't just change lives, it saves lives because it saved mine. Through their tenacity and through their unconditional love and everything that they offer, I'm where I am now. I am a uh, purchasing agent at Civil Works. I'm Donnie Gibson, uh, the president and owner of Civil Works. I don't know that I could have hired an experienced purchasing type person and gotten the same results that I, that I got with Corey. He brought in new processes and procedures to our company to make us better. In all honesty, my first reaction was, I don't know that I really want to walk down this road. I just can't help but to reflect on my own life and, and how just, I think generally as people, we're all one, two, three mistakes away from being in a, in a similar situation. I provided an opportunity. The, the life changing is, is on them. You couldn't in a million years have told me that I would have this kind of a job and this kind of a company doing this, never. I knew Corey prior to him getting released. I've had conversations with him while he was still incarcerated. And I made a commitment to him that the day he got home, that I was gonna be there for him. Initially, I thought that there was no way that this guy, John Ponder, could be that passionately concerned and that he could care that much. I just didn't think it was possible. I thought it was game, and, but it's, it's not. He really, truly cares that much. You don't graduate out of the program, you graduate into a family. The organization was birthed out of my own personal experiences. I was a guy coming in and out of the system at a very young age. While I'm in prison, the light bulb came on. What my passion in life is right now, the reason why I know that my God wakes me up every morning is to help other men and women who are facing those same challenges that I once had to face. We don't believe in job placement, we believe in job partnership. We let employers know that you're not just hiring John and Jane Doe, the formerly incarcerated individual, they're hiring an entire army of people that are gonna be with them over the next 18 months to ensure that we're helping them to soar like superstars into the community. The Hope for Prisoners graduates truly want more out of life. I'm so appreciative and grateful for the, the fact that I was given a second chance that I try to do the very best I can. I mean, the one thing you can never take from a man is hope.